scholarship to then merge with Bloods, Crips, Latin Kings, and all those forces out there. So I think that becomes an interesting thing because then it's even like the issue of being too educated, then you're, you're white and you've left your community. And I think of scholar activists like Kwame Ture, John Henry Clark, Chancellor Williams, Hakeem Alibudi, Amos Wilson, um, Bell Hooks, you know, these people that have been wedded to the community and have been stopped by the pow black power elite on many of these campuses to move the campuses to be more responsive. You know, when you're sitting here at one of these major institutions that you talk to cats on the south side about how this, this college was founded and the research is done to denigrate young black men particularly. So I just wanted to bring that up because I don't want people to think, if I, when I do become Dr. Clemente in four years, I don't need to do that because I have to be able for myself, first it's, it's something that I want to do because I come from that school. I come from a tradition of being on a college campus where it was all about shutting it down, activism in the early 90s. And I, I, I truly feel that with the dropout rate, that I, if I become a professor, I'll be wedded to my campus, but how am I gonna deal with the 50 to 60% dropout?